Have you ever wondered how developers find the recommended specs for their game? One obvious answer is just find a computer that runs the game at or above the target frame rate and use that computer for the recommended specs. While this option does work, it causes you to lose out on sales if you set the recommended specs too high, so most people don't do this. If you're a big company, you can just dig through your inventory of old computers until you find something that barely runs the game and set that as the minimum spec. But what if you're like me? What if you're an indie developer without a huge inventory of old laptops or the thousands of dollars you would need to build up something like that? What do you do then? What do I do then? Well, one option is to bum laptops off friends for testing, and that is in fact a decent way to find recommended specs, but it does have the problem of your friends don't have as big an inventory of old computers as larger companies, so your recommended specs won't be very accurate. Now, if your main goal is accuracy, you could use a VM to test different power levels, but well, that means you have to deal with setting up a VM and all the other annoying junk that goes with that. Then, of course, there's the third option, which is to use the performance on a more powerful machine to back-calculate recommended specs. So then, what is the best option? As with most things in life, the best option is usually to do some combination of the other options, which is what I'm doing for my game Whisk the Plank. Steam page up soon.